I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. We're in the DevNet Zone with a very special guest, Kuhn. Hi, Sylvia. My name is uh, Kuhn Jacobs, and I'm responsible for the system engineering community uh, across Cisco EMIR. Tell us about SE Maker. Uh, SE Maker stems from the fact that our system engineers actually have a lot of platform skills, so the network. Um, now the network's evolving, so those skills need to be evolving. And programmability is a key maker skill. And so makership is all about adaptability. What ideas and projects have you seen come from the SE community around the SE Maker movement? So we see two things. First of all is learn by doing. So people having fun creating banana-sized data centers or putting the Meraki dashboard on their Mercedes uh, vehicles, stuff like that. So could you give us some examples of how the changing role of the SC is impacting business for Cisco? What the changing role enables us to do is to basically have an open-ended conversation. Programmability allows for a new degree of relevance to be created with the customer. How are you identifying leaders within your organization? So on the programmability side, it's people that are reskilling themselves very actively. So we have some phenomenal young talent that comes in with sort of software and programmability skills and they quickly evolve. Uh, but then also we have people who've been system engineers for 10, 15, 20 years sometimes who've completely reskilled and upskilled themselves. So CCIEs with tremendous programmability knowledge. Those are the people we gravitate to because they then inspire others to follow the same path. So what message do you want the Cisco SEs to hear loud and clear when it comes to programmability? I would say just dive in. Get started, get your hands dirty, so to speak, so learn by doing. To get to know more about Kuhn, make sure you're following him on social media. He is one of our great Cisco SE ambassadors. And thank you for joining us.